Recently, I've been working on creating my own electroporation device based on some previous iGEM projects. Um, and what you see here is basically my final design that I came up with based on those previous projects. So listing the various components involved in this, uh, you've got your high voltage power supply, which is just a DC boost converter. Um, it'll boost 12 volts up to 1500 volts. Um, then you've got your heart of your device, uh, the capacitor, so one microfarad 1600 volt capacitor. You've got the transistor, uh, which kind of serves as a gate, uh, electronically regulated switch, if you will. Um, and then you've got your electroporation cuvette, where the actual electroporting will occur. So how the circuit works, uh, your high voltage power supply is here, and Initially, the transistor is closed, so the high voltage power supply will just supply power to charging this capacitor here. Um, and then when you want to discharge through the cuvette, you basically hit this switch over here, which will open the transistor, and all the current that's built up on the capacitor will then flow through cuvette and electroporate your cells. So here we have the actual electroporation device. I know it looks a lot messier than the schematic, but trust me, it's all the same components. So you've got the high voltage power supply over here, running through the 22 kilo ohm resistor, coming through the LED, charging up the capacitor. We've got the nine volt battery and switch to trigger our transistor over here. Um, there's the 4.3 mega ohm resistor going down to ground. Uh, where we have a bunch of things connected, and then we have our actual electroporation cuvette. Actually operating the circuit is pretty simple. Um, you just go over to the battery power supply, there's a switch on the side, um, and when you turn that on, you'll see the LED lights up as it's charging and dims out uh, once the capacitor is fully charged. So then you can go and turn off the battery supply, um, and you'll go over to the button, try to get out of the way here. Um, and when you press the button, again, the LED will briefly light up, flash. And that means that the circuit has fired and gone through your cuvette. Um, and that's pretty much it. It's fairly simple operation. Um, I should point out that in these test runs, I've actually filled the electroporation cuvette here with some water, uh, just as a stand-in. I'll be working on an updated version of the circuit to just make everything a lot cleaner, um, better looking, and stay tuned for updates on that.